much longer is this gonna take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Gurdon? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? Honey, you know I can't answer that. Yeah, I know. I was just watching it on... <gasps> Sarah. Sarah! Wilkes, you okay? I think so. Looks like everybody's all right back there. We just had a faulty collision on it. I've never seen anything like it. It's I'm here, Fisher. What the hell's going on? Nicolad's just declared war on the U.S. What? The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. What's our defense? What are we doing? What do we have? Nicolad's caught us with our pants down. All we've got is the laptop you pulled off the oil rig. My dog. I know, I know. I've got people heading over there. This whole country's a mess. I need to see Sarah. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nicolads. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. No sweat, man. We got a better way in this time. CIA, CIA. Ha! CIA. <laughs> Failure at the Red Bear Army Community Hospital in Mississippi resulted in 17 deaths and over 30 injuries. Both county electricity and backup generators were destroyed, leaving military train traveling to Norfolk, Virginia collided with a commuter rail line after an apparent failure of its automated routing system. U.S. military has not released the contents of the train's cargo, though federal authorities have evacuated a 20-mile radius surrounding the wreckage. Though no official death toll has been given, initial reports indicate the deaths of over 40 enlisted men. Potential civilian casualties are believed to be much lower. Newspapers talking about cyber terrorism, an information crisis, information warfare. Call it what you will, but realize that no American is safe until we mobilize our army. Rescue workers, their information grid entirely disabled, were unable to respond to the crash for nearly an hour. Injuries became fatalities as to combine Nicolades, the Georgian president still in hiding. Though his first wave of cyber terrorism focused on military targets, intelligence proposes that a large-scale civilian target could just as easily we have faced terror before and triumphed. I promise here to the American people that we will triumph again. Earth is too small a place for the perpetrators of these acts to hide. The United States and her allies will enact a justice that is swift, true, and absolute.